Hello, wonderful moms. So I want to talk about adding a history timeline notebook to your homeschool for a better learning experience. And I know there's um, lots of curriculum buying happening right now and lots of questions on whether I should do this. And so I just wanted to jump in and do this quick video on why you should add it to your homeschool. So number one, it gives you a visual picture of historical events. So it helps you connect everything. So I know when I came out of, when I've graduated from my homeschool, because I was homeschooled as well, I felt like I had a lot of disconnected facts in my head, um, whether that was with science or like with some historical event over here. Like I didn't feel like I had a complete picture of all the, where all these puzzle pieces fit in. Now, of course, as I got older and I'm a big reader, I'm an information hound. So as I would uh, watch documentaries and just read books and different things like that, things started clicking in place for me. But it did, I did feel like, and I think I had an excellent homeschool experience when I went to Bible school, I was the valedictorian. Um, so it wasn't, had any, it didn't have anything to do with like, I had a poor education or anything like that. It was just, I felt like all of these historical events could have been, um, coalesced better. And one of the ways to do that is with a history timeline notebook. And what's great about this is you can act, you can use it all the way from K through 12 and it works whether you're a visual learner, a kinesthetic learner, um, an audio learner. I actually just saw something on social media today. It was like um, activities that require, that are interactive and hands-on. Students actually learn better that way and it sticks with them more. So, and I know for homeschool moms, it's like oh, one more thing added to my plate. Now I have to add all these interactive things. You don't, okay? It's things as simple as getting a history timeline notebook, getting stickers. You can find the historical stickers. Um, I think I found them on christianbook.com before. And that is interactive and have the kids start to put them, put these stickers and these events and these historical figures, uh, line them up in history and then they have a, like a visual picture of things that happen. So you no longer have all these disconnected pieces of like, I know they fit in somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where they have. They can go back and look at exactly where they fit in. And it's also a fun addition to history. It's a great way to have an activity for your kids and, um, that's still a part of their schoolwork. So I wanted to show you, cause I've actually, so this started out like, I'll just show you, let me start it out. So like this, that something I did for my own kids. And so I just printed it, took it to the office supply store and got it bound. But now, it's more official. It's officially published. And so I wanted to share that. Um, if you go to, well, I'll leave the links in the description below so you can find them, but you can get this on Amazon or you can print at home. And let me just show you. So part of the store, like you are able to print this off and that's what's inside. It goes from creation to 2042. I think I just picked a number. <laughs> and so it covers all these different time periods. So it really is a great addition to your homeschool. And if you need lines, because I did have someone ask, so I went ahead and I added graphs. So you can actually choose which way you want to write. If you want to write vertically, horizontally, you have all of those options. So that's what that looks like. And this you can also um, downloaded print at home as well. Or again, you can purchase them 
off of Amazon. So I know as you're looking and shopping for all of your curriculum and wondering, what do I actually need? I would highly recommend adding a history timeline notebook to your homeschool and one that they can use for the entirety of their homeschool. This is not a one and done um, book. This is something that they can continue adding on to through the years. And it can be historical events in science, historical, well, history. <laughs> it can be, you can add so much to it that all of these pieces to really enhance the learning experience. So all of these pieces fit together. So if you have any questions about how to add the history timeline notebook to your homeschool, let me know in the comments below. And if you know someone who is wondering what curriculum they need to add to their homeschool, be sure to share this video with them.